Hey everybody, welcome to the random game on Shrinking. The game I have here today is Death Trap Dungeon, or maybe more specifically, Ian Livingstone's Death Trap Dungeon, which was created by Asylum Studios and produced by Eidos in, I think, 1998. Now, I didn't buy this game back in the day. It's an action-adventure. It looks pretty cool. But recently, I've been trying to pick up a lot of these Eidos published titles that have these cool trapezoid boxes. I think they're actually really cool. Um, and most of the games, I mean, I really haven't found a bad one yet. The quality seems to be pretty good. So I'm assuming Eidos as a publisher had pretty good quality control. Um, again, this is not shrink-wrapped. It's sticker-sealed on the side. You can see a sticker seal here, here on this side. There's also one in the back. Now, in this case, I'm a little bit, or the right side, rather. In this case, I'm a little bit um, suspicious that this might be a reseal. Um, the box is very dirty. You can see here there's remains of some kind of store sticker here that someone tried to take off, but they were unsuccessful. It also looks like there were some stick, some circular stickers here, and also one on this side over here. And I would that would be suspicious to me that maybe it was sealed here before, but it shouldn't have been sealed in the front because this, this box opens up. It has a flap here in the front that really gives you like, a, you know, you're, the, you're in the store looking at the box and you open up the flap and you can see more about you know, the game and, and the gameplay and all that. So it's supposed to open up in the front, which is pretty, pretty cool. So I don't know why there would be stickers here, but maybe there was at some point. I don't know. But it's all beat up. I mean, it doesn't tell you anything. The thing that makes me concerned is that right here in this sticker, um, looks like it's a splinter of like cardboard or wood or something that's like caught underneath the sticker, like right over here, if you can see it. I don't know if you can see that okay, but there shouldn't be anything like that, like underneath the sticker. That's what makes me suspicious that it might be a rewrap, but let's open it up or a reseal, I guess. Let's open it up and see what's inside, and then we can make a judgment based on that. So again, I'll just cut the, the stickers. I can do it on both sides. So let's, do, let's see what that thing is. Piece of glue or something. Whoops. Just just sort of flicked out. Piece of dried glue or something like that. Okay, we have the cardboard insert. This one is designed well, so you it just you can open it up by itself without taking the whole thing out. That's like sort of mark of a good design. Let's try to see what's in here. Let's dump it all out first. Now, okay, we have a registration card. It's not been filled in or sent in. That's a good sign. There is a catalog. Again, it looks like it's in decent shape. And then I have the CD, which looks like it came in a plain jewel case with the manual inside and the CD here. The CD is not obviously blemished or anything like that. I can't really draw any conclusion from that. Um, the only thing that makes me, makes me suspicious is that almost all the other Eidos games, they came in these uh, paper sleeve thingies that it wouldn't have a jewel case. It was like a custom-made paper sleeve just for the game. Um, if they were to put this one in a jewel case, it would have nice that they had a back insert and there was a side label and all that. But it's possible this is how it came. I'm going to have to sort of check and see if that's the case. Just take the manual out quickly. Pretty straightforward. Nothing too exciting here. So I don't have anything at this point to, to determine either way if it was a reseal or not. I don't have anything to suggest it was a reseal, except for the, little, the dirt under the seal and um, just the, the general wear on the box. But that's not really conclusive. So I'm going to look and see if I can find anything online in terms of uh, if I might be missing any components or anything like that. But if anybody has any info about this and thinks they know if it's a reseller or not, please uh, reach out, comment, or ping me or whatever, and, and let me know what you think. All right, I hope that was interesting. Um, if you like that, please share, subscribe, like, etc. And have a really great day, everybody.